guessing you guys have seen this recently. That amazingness is Lady Baby, which is one of a growing number of bands in a new kawaii core subgenre of metal, which crosses J-pop with heavy metal. If you think it's just a one-off, Baby Metal, who already played the main stage at Sonosphere and sold out gigs at Wembley Arena, and Lady Baby, with only one single out, have already played a packed room in Japan, New York, China, and London. Lady Baby's first awesome single, Nippon Monju, already well deservedly has over 11 and a half million YouTube views, and their second single, Age Age Money, about the desire to be paid more, which is genius, is already racking up hits as well. The band is mixing the idol J-pop style with heavy metal, and they're doing so in an exceedingly approachable, friendly way, which is bringing in people that are interested in the cutesy J-pop stuff, people that are interested in the heavy metal stuff, and people that just don't have any clue about what it is either way. You won't be surprised to hear that originally this was done as a marketing stunt by a costume company called Clearstone, but it just seems to have gained a life of its own since then. The band has three adorable members, Ree, Ray, and the well-known idol star, Lady Bit. Ray's from another band called Brass, and they have very dark visuals, but a very punk pop sound, and she cites her favourite bands as Slipknot and Maximum the Hormone, so she's already pretty metal. Lady Beard, of course, is a massive draw for people because he's just simply one of a kind. Which brings us to the second question, who is Lady Beard? I originally had a theory that Chris Hemsworth and Hello Kitty had had an interdimensional love child. Lady Beard's a rum cute Australian guy who moved out to Hong Kong in 2006. He's an actor, a martial artist, a voiceover artist and a singer, so he's already a bit of an overachiever. And while he's in Hong Kong as a martial arts stunt guy, he also trained to be a pro wrestler. He needed a character and he just put on a dress and called himself Lady Bit, not really thinking it would amount to much, but he gained quite a cult following. Shortly after he started up a band which covered Cantonese sea pop songs in a heavy metal style, Ladybird then moved to Japan and was discovered by a photographer specialising in cross-dressers. She loved him so much she became his manager and it's really snowballed from there. He has nearly 100,000 dedicated followers on Facebook alone and they follow all his cute idol antics, adorable photos and of course the heavy metal mentality. The amount of people who are cosplaying him and sending him fan art is absolutely unbelievable. He also now cameos in some animes and you can even buy a model kit of him. It's obvious that there is a lot of love out there for Beard Chan. His smile will break your heart. He has a really welcoming and friendly demeanour. I was lucky enough to see him at Hyper Japan and the show was just incredibly fun. He's also a pretty good singer. The songs are adoringly random about enjoying Japan, wanting to be paid more, and there's another one apparently about where he wakes up one day as a robot for no reason. On top of everything else, Lady Bill has also now got a movie out that's called Justice Fight. There's a trailer for it on YouTube, do watch it, it is hysterical. You can see that even though probably only about £2.50 went into making the movie, that it is made with loads of love. He clearly doesn't take himself or anybody else seriously, and he just doesn't care about anyone's preconceptions or what he's supposed to be doing. He's just using his talent to make whatever he wants. There's nothing deep or meaningful to it, and there really doesn't need to be. It's just a joy to watch. There's something to just lift your day about everything this guy does. And he's basically just bringing the world an adorable brand of singing, dancing, and destruction. Thank you for watching. Please check out more of Lady Baby's amazing videos. I will put links below. You can also subscribe to my channel to see more uh, comic book, movie, and other geek things. And you can follow Trista Bites on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.